Hey guys, if you want to have the best looking VS Code theme that is actually beautiful, that is actually functional, that is not distracting, and is going to 10x your skills as a developer, I mean, maybe not 10x your skills, but it's going to help you out, okay? Um, basically, you got to come in and watch this whole video so we could get started and show you guys how to install this whole theme and get it up and running the coding face style again okay? so why am i doing this right a lot of people always hit me up and ask me joe what theme you're using what's the vs code settings that you have uh how can i make my vs code look like yours guys this is the one okay you finally gonna get it all right now i do want to go ahead and give credit to coding face style uh over here right but the the style really started from the covars and the code monkey shout out to those two developers they created some amazing themes and what i did was i basically became the glue i came in took the best of both themes integrated into one added my own styles and made it even better but again we want to give them credit to what they have started because without them this is not possible okay so shout out to them now the first thing i want you guys to do is literally go into the repo click outrun since wave right in the synth wave uh floral machine epic animations repo and go ahead and give those guys a star and also to give your boy a little star now let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how this looks okay this is a php file right this is how uh, basically the whole uh, vs code is looking like okay uh again you see nice highlighting right nice animation on the cursor when you hover on top of a certain you know class or even when you're using typescript you can have now this box which has a nice animation to it and also to some very nice uh colors for it okay i really love this it's very uh, intuitive and at the same time it's like it, it's nice right uh at the same time you can see over here we have all of these different uh sections here where when you go in and you highlight certain keywords it will actually give you that that full uh background hover effect okay which is actually uh, pretty cool at the same time you see we have some nice colors that are good but are not like you know distracting sometimes i see some themes that they have very like super poppy uh, you know colorways and, and at the end of the day it can be very distracting i believe that uh syntax highlighting um uh, with certain colors has to make sense you can't just go in there and be like well i'm just gonna make everything random colors it's like nah there needs to be a reason for the colors and there needs to be a separation between uh, the different keywords and the different uh, things that you're doing uh, as far as like the color so it could make sense and it could improve your your skills as a developer and you could realize exactly what you're writing and like what you're working on okay so again shout out to what those guys did but we just went in and make sure that the colors were a little bit more clear for you guys again um, another thing that you will see when we highlight a certain line you will see that over here you will get a different color uh, depending on the line that you're on another thing that you will see over here is this animation down here so this is like some type of retro you know 80s virtual world synth wave you know cyberpunk type of animation but it's not like distracting it's like you have a real life animation here happening but you're not being distracted because it's subtle it looks nice if you focus on it or once you go in let's say for example you are a youtuber or you are uh instagram or whatever a social media influencer right and people realize oh like oh shoot something's moving down here like it looks good right uh but again it's not distracting when you're coding okay those are the things that i went in and i made sure that it, it just felt natural okay like when i code and i write my my coding here like i'm not paying attention to this at all because at the end of the day it's not distracting me i'm focusing on the code again um another thing is that you will see here we have custom icons for all of the different files all right i'm going to show you guys how to set that up too and give you guys like an example of like maybe javascript i know you guys love javascript so this is how like javascript looks okay so again this is like a react component very simple um this is how uh, let's see if we open up some css in a second uh let me see i don't really have that much css for this project uh but basically let's say show you guys how this looks uh let's see background color okay 
and there we go all right so this is how uh, basically css looks like another thing that's really cool if you look when we select certain sections you see how there's a highlight on it and also to uh there's a glow to each box each section that you are selecting so that's something that also helps you out when you're writing your code you can know exactly what it is that you're selecting and um it just looks nice right like look at that right that looks legit bro like i'm sorry but this is the best looking theme of all time okay i don't, I don't want nobody tell me well i got a better one no you don't okay this is the best one all right so again so let's get started on how to set this up like i said right the first thing you want to go in is install this one uh vs code extension i'll run me to synth wave which is going to get you started with the theme install that once you install that you want to come back over here and you want to install the builder icons that we have right here okay set that file icons to that okay um again just to let you guys know when you do select the outrun uh meet synth wave make sure you set the color theme to outrun electric meet synth okay that's the one that you want to be using all right um from there the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you install this vs code custom css and javascript loader which is this one okay click install okay and once it's installed just it's going to be there i'll show you guys how to use it in a second all right uh from there the next thing that we want to go and do is the fonts okay the fonts are very important um if you want to get some ligatures you want to go in and use favorite code if you want to go in and have a very clean um uh, font you want to use mononoke okay where do you get this fonts nerdfonts.com okay so scroll down over here look for the m i would recommend for you guys to start with this one mononoke nerd font download it once you download it come over here okay open it up install all of this fonts into your system do the same thing with the fire code or fear code uh, i don't know how to say it but fear code nerd font come over here download this all right once you do that you're gonna go in and basically install all of the fonts that you have here okay just double click it and that will go in and install it all right uh, just make sure you install it into your system all right cool now that's basically it as far as like the downloading now the next thing that you have to do is is work on setting up the settings to have it like me okay this is where you want to go in and basically clean it up this is why you're gonna have a very nice looking and functional uh theme is by using my settings guys okay so you're gonna come up here and you're gonna go to settings.json okay this is the the settings that you want to go and copy so you're gonna copy this okay and then from there you're gonna go to vs code and on vs code you could either click up here and then press the greater than sign or you could do uh command shift p right and then do greater than sign and open up open user settings json okay open that up and then from there what you want to do is if you want to have my settings uh, but you want to overwrite like your font sizes or your like indentation and things like that you want to come here and paste it at the top okay paste what you copy from uh, my github repo here at the top and what that's going to do is going to keep the same size of fonts that you guys like um maybe the same line height that you already have and that's because again this is a json so if you already have your settings down here it, your settings is going to overwrite what i have and that's fine okay now if you want to have it exactly like how i have it then i will go in and put it here at the bottom paste it there and then save the file and that what that's going to do is it's going to overwrite what you have okay so it's, you're going to have basically exactly what i have okay so just keep that in mind all right so then now the next thing that you want to go and do is over here come back to the, my repo and go to the next stage right so in here we want to go in and we want to replace what's inside of the vs code custom css dot imports okay so if you look over here right uh on this section we want to go to again to the settings.json once you have copied 
uh, the the code, right? Uh, you will see the section that says VS Code Custom CSS Imports. So in here, you're gonna re you're gonna realize that if you are on Mac or Windows or Linux, you're gonna have to pay something different here. Okay, and this is where I have this code here for you guys. If you are on Mac, you can leave it alone. I'm on Mac, so my settings are already set up for for Mac. If you are on Windows, you gotta copy this string and paste it on on that line. If you are on Linux, you gotta copy this and paste it on on that line too. Okay. Now, what you gotta replace here is your name, right? Your username to your computer. So, for example, for me, my username is Coding Face. So this is why when you look over here, it says File Users Coding Face, right? And then the VS Code extension um folder etc so basically you just got to make sure that this here says your username to your computer okay sometimes um you you might have like spaces on your vs code or sorry on your computer so for example let's say your username for whatever reason you decided to call your username uh james space smith guess what you're gonna have to figure that out to go in and put in the james space smith so it could work me this is why i use usernames that are <laughs> together keep it simple okay uh so again uh you might have some issues with uh, some of you guys that have that space uh, but again if you don't have no space you should be fine okay so once you have this done the first thing that you want to do over here is now you have a, a connection to this link of where this file is located this is from uh our meets uh, a synth wave right our run meets synth wave created by cobars uh you want to go in here and you want to click on this whole section okay and what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to basically copy what i have here coding face style.css okay you want to go in copy all of this okay and basically you could just download the file if you want right uh but basically i'm just going to copy all of this here okay and then once you copy all of this you want to go into vs code okay and you want to select all of this and replace it okay copy and paste just completely replace everything that's in there okay um it's going to keep some of the things that synthwave or, uh, had originally is going to have uh, my settings uh to fix things on on the steam and it's also going to have some of the animations that were set up by the code monkey okay so again that's what i did i came in customized it made it a little bit better take the best of uh, both themes right and then merge it into one all right so then now once you have this done save this file okay now you have this file saved guess what now you have everything set up but guess what right now you are not seeing any changes and that's because you got to go to the next step okay we're going to come here open up your settings and we're going to go for reload custom css and js so click right here and it's going to ask you to restart visual studio code so you're going to click here and restart it and then now you should see exactly what I have on my VS Code. Your VS Code should be looking like this, okay? So thank you, <laughs> I got you, all right? Now, uh, one thing that I do wanna mention to you guys is um, if you get that little message where it says, um, hey, your VS Code is broken or your VS Code is messed up, ignore that, okay? Ignore it, uh, you, you guys can literally uh, look into this a little bit more. You see it says here, this is from custom CSS and JS. If Visual Studio complains about that it's corrupted, click don't show again, okay? And once you do that, uh, basically it's just never gonna show up again, okay? So you don't worry, it's not broken, it's just you're basically hacking into VS Code, adding something that technically VS Code is like, yo, hold on, you're trying to do some custom coding here so it's like yes that's why it's giving you uh that warning okay now another thing too that i gotta mention is that every time that you update visual studio code you're gonna have to re-enable your custom css every single time okay so always keep that in mind and every time that you do any changes to your configuration for your custom css okay meaning let's say for example you decide to do some changes right um, I'll give you an example. 
on this file, right? If, let's say you decide to do some changes on this file and you say, okay, cool, I wanna go in and for whatever reason you wanna change some colors, right? So let's say for this, you wanted to go in and say, I want this to be red, right? Save this. Let's say for whatever reason you wanted to do that, right? You're gonna have to always come here and basically reload that CSS. So you can come here, do this, okay? And basically you're gonna have to go in and, and run the reload. So again, show you guys how it looks, okay? Reload custom CSS, restart, okay? And as you can see now your settings for uh, your comments are red, okay? That's the only way you're gonna have to uh, be able to do this to be able to have um, those sudden changes, okay? Personally, guys, I will say I invested enough time into this thing and I can tell you right now, even if you go in and you try changing things around, I wouldn't do it, okay? <laughs> Leave it how I have it. Trust me, it's my settings. You're gonna be fine. Um, it's gonna look good. It's gonna work perfectly for you guys, okay? Um, you don't want to go in and be messing up with the CSS, okay? Uh, unless you know what you're doing, okay? Uh, because if not, then you, you might just mess up all of the styles that we have already added to it. But again, this, keep that in mind. That's how that works. So every single time that you update your VS Code, right, you're going to have to go in and just make sure you reload your CSS one more time. And that's it. It's, it just, yes, it's a little task that now you have to do whenever you upload uh, or update, it's fine. Who cares? You got a beautiful theme. You have a beautiful setup. Your VS Code looks amazing, okay? Guess what? You know, <laughs> blame it to the gods, okay? So anyways, guys, listen, if you like this type of content, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you show some love to your boy, okay? And also, too, if you guys want to learn how to code, come to codingphase.com. This is what I do, okay? I help people get into jobs, help people learn the skills, right? And then show you guys how to get into the tech industry as soon as possible. If you don't want to waste no time, you don't want to be one of those guys that be like, man, I got two years, three years trying to become a developer. You don't want to be that guy that's like, the industry is saturated. I can't get a job. Guess what? Come to codingphase.com, okay, bro? Like, no cap. Like, this is what we do, okay? You might say, damn, who is this guy with a random, you know, who's this random guy with a hat on? You know what I mean? Like, who is this guy? Trust me, we've been here long enough. We got people into a lot of major companies, right? We don't teach coding as a hobby, okay? We help people get into the game in different ways. Again, when you're a self-taught developer, it's not about just learning the certain skills. It's about learning the right skills so you could get into the industry. Not every skill that's out there is worth you learning when you are just trying to get a job and get into the tech industry. You could always go and learn those things later on, but if you want to get started, I always recommend get started with something like this, content editor, email developer, front end developer, right? Those roles are much easier for you to get started in the tech industry. Again, so you want to come through, come check out codingphase.com. It's a very cool website, a lot of cool courses. You got a freaking membership where you have access to all the courses. And again, this is what we do. We've been doing this for literally like five, six years now, okay? So again, come through Coding Face if you want to show some support. Um, and again, just try the platform, all right, guys? But anyways, man, I'm about to get out of here. I'm just excited to finally create this whole video set this up for you guys and hopefully you guys like it please subscribe to the channel please give this a like okay leave a comment on, on the description if you have any issues i'm gonna help you out myself directly i'm gonna go in and give you um you know a, a reply on the comment section so you can figure out uh what the issue is so i'll help you out to set this up trust me I'm invested in this and I'm invested in you guys. I want you guys to succeed. And also too, I just love helping people. Again, that's the thing. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Peace. <laughs>